You know what's funny is my girlfriend and I actually met on Tinder, but today we're gonna take a look at terrible Tinder messages and check out those that were not so fortunate. <laughs> Hello Chaos Gang, you welcome back to my bullshit. My name is Sybil, today I'm here alone. If you want any value or as socials, they'll be down in the description below. Let's go on and get it. Void is playing with a toy. Void never wants to be on camera. People literally sometimes comment thinking we don't have her. We have her. See, here she is. I found these on the Tinder subreddit. So without further ado, let's get into it. I actually don't drink, but we could still go out. Mild red flag. Are you looking for a boyfriend for cuffing season? It interacts with my meds. Meds? We're getting deeper. Anything I should know? Not as of right now, no. Date sounds fun. Just send me home with both my kidneys. What's your schedule like? If it's a problem, maybe we shouldn't go out. It's not. I take pills too, as long as it's not schizophrenia. <laughs> schizophrenia. <laughs> or a mood disorder. Mine's for blood pressure. <laughs> oh my god, what a dick. First of all, it was already terrible before we got to that, right? Her saying, I usually don't drink, and him saying, that's a red flag. Have you never heard of sober people? Have you never heard of people who get anxiety when they drink? Have you ever heard of people that are just social drinkers, so they only drink like once or twice a month when they go out with their friends? Not everybody is somebody who likes to drink all the time. And the anything I should know, I think she had the perfect response of like, not as of right now, because it's truly not his business. They're not even on a first date, you know what I mean, they're just catching the vibe to see if maybe there should be a first date. And it's already going bad. You don't need to disclose your medical history, your mental health, all of that to somebody on a Tinder message. And then after she says that, being like, just send me home with both my kidneys, Typically, I would take something like that as a joke, but the messages before that are making me be like, no, now you're just being a dick. At that point, you've already messed up so bad that you probably shouldn't have said that. And she tries to let him down easy here, like, if it's a problem, we just shouldn't go out. And he's like, no, here's like what I mean. Like, if you're mentally ill, that's a fucking problem. My pills are for blood pressure. <laughs> I think it's a good thing she's not going on a date with you because it sounds like you're gonna raise her blood pressure. Schizophrenia. <laughs> you can't even spell it, but you're gonna sit there and knock it. Okay, got it, bud. Oh, I fucking can't. I haven't said I can't since like 2018. Teleported. Hey Lizzie, how's it going? Can I bend you like a pretzel? <laughs> wow, right off the bat, going in. I'm good, how are you? Like, good in general or you're good on being bent like a pretzel? <laughs> LOL, and I am doing great, can't complain. I'm good in general. Wonderful. So can I? Question mark? Yes, yes question, question mark? mark? Catch a fucking hint, my guy. Listen, I totally get it. Some people are on Tinder with the express purpose of hooking up. Totally valid, no quarrels here for that. But maybe a hi is in order, maybe just a hello. The Riz is at an all time low. This is somebody who did not get into the school of wizardry. Rejected. Can I bend you like a pretzel? Can, can I? Is your silence a yes? Is your, is your continued silence a yes? Can I? Please? All I've ever wanted to do is open a human bakery. I can't believe she even responded twice. That's like the shock of the century to me. <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can be your daddy. All right, perfect. It's your weekend to visit and oops, you forgot to pick me up. Oh <laughs> wait, not that kind of daddy. Damn, abandoned again. Oof. Honestly, I think it's a fun opener. I would have kept talking to her. I think it's funny as fuck. <laughs> the way he cuts in with the haha, wait, not that kind of daddy. I don't know. I get I, I get the sense of humor on her part. I thought it was funny. I would have laughed. I would have giggled. I would have had a haha. I don't know. I, I thought it was, I don't know why I had to explain that in 30 different ways and all of them were worse than the last. Ha ha. Sorry, Shane. It's your turn with the kids. <laughs> the title says, y'all, I don't know why I keep getting unmatched. See, I fucking love their sense of humor. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh my God. My favorite, the bios. I think the reason why I like the bios even more than the messages is because like a bio is before you've even spoken to somebody. Like this is their first impression of you. Before you can even ask them if you can bend them like a pretzel, you have a bio. So the first part's pretty normal. They're just saying where they're from. She's like Dominican, 5'1", stay at home mom, two kids, etc., etc. And then we get to the must be checklist. Must be hetero slash straight. Um, bisexual people exist. I, I feel like that's always kind of strange to me when somebody is like, I will only date another lesbian or I will only date somebody who's heterosexual. I'm like, it's kind of weird, strange. I'm monogamous, 
live alone, so you can't have a fucking roommate, you cannot be financially saving, long-term relationship-minded, makes sense, kid-friendly, makes sense, it would be fucking terrible if you went on a date and they were like, hey, by the way, I fucking hate kids, get rid of your two and then we could date. And a provider, oh, she's looking for that, ow, 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 alpha. She's into that nodding. This is her absolutely no way. Cheapskate. Once again, not here for people who are trying to save money and get their life together. <laughs> Give me everything you have. Atheists. Okay, I've said this before. I understand that for some people, like, religion is a deal breaker. Fair enough. I guess if you're devoting your entire life to a religion and you are very much consumed in that religion and that is how you live your life, it would make sense that you want to find somebody with those that, that similar religion. But it's just the way where it's like, no way. Atheists. <laughs> Horror movies. Oh, this bitch does not want me. This bitch does not want me. Maybe that's why I find this so bad. I am so unwanted. Cheapskates, bing. I mean, like, I'm not a cheapskate. I'm just broke. <laughs> I've had this flannel since, um, I was 17? 16, actually. I consider myself more agnostic, but I feel like I'd also still fit in the no way for her. Horror movie is my absolute favorite. Metal music, fucking love metal music. Misogynist, hey, I also dislike those. <laughs> this has thrown me through for, like, a, a trip right? <laughs> like some of this I'm like kind of weird and then some of it I'm like yeah no nobody wants a fucking misogynist like come on. I won't send pics keep in mind that you reached out to me. I understand not wanting to send pics don't get me wrong like I totally get that like I said some people use it tinder for sex some people use it for friends some people use it to like actually meet and go on dates and get to know people all are valid. I just think it's funny that it's followed with you reached out to me and it's like that's not how the app works actually. I mean maybe they sent said hi first but you definitely were part of the, the process. <laughs> At your age, you should already know how to talk to a woman. I won't teach you how to, but instead we'll ghost. Have no time for disqualified mad ones. <laughs> disqualified actually this is kind of this is kind of a fucking bad bitch move <laughs> like there's some stuff on here I don't agree with and that I think's a little strange but kind of a bad bitch move to be like here's the most important things to me about me here's my absolute musts and here are my absolute must nots don't fucking waste my time <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, it's just such an intense bio. I feel yelled at, I feel scolded. Oh, she has no time for disqualified mad ones. We should move on then. I'm a disqualified mad one, so we should just move on. Okay, so these people matched and the opening line of this person was, what do you bring to the table? Next day, shall we discuss over dinner? Two days later, happy Thanksgiving. Is the beach out of the question then? Just a word of advice, don't fucking start a conversation with what do you bring to the table. I understand, like, you're trying to date, you're on an app to date, you are date-minded. I get that. But a simple hi and being courteous is not out of the question. There are plenty of ways to ask that question in a respectful manner after getting to know the person a little bit already. Nobody owes you that question right off the fucking bat. I feel like I'm teaching a lesson on how to talk to people. It's okay to start with a funny opener or just your hey what's up and then try to like discuss off that. But what do you bring to the table is not gonna get you many fucking fucking people responding. I just feel like that's such like an egotistical thing to open with. Like seeing that I'm immediately like, oh, you're actually kind of a dick. But it like tries to be like a gentleman or gentlewoman by following up with shall we discuss over dinner? Is a beach out of the question then? Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I gotta move on. Wait, the person who posted this is the person who sent that. They said update, I wasted my time as the title. That's so wild to me. This does not think they're in the wrong. Feels like they wasted their time. So the title for this one before we get into it, because context matters for this. His profile says he's very sarcastic and hope you are too. He unmatched immediately after this exchange. Hello. Hi. Great convo. You came out of the gate blazing and I'm just trying to keep up. Okay, first of all, great reply. That would have been a conversation starter. That would have been silly. That would have been fun. He obviously was being sarcastic, so you hit him back with the sarcasm that he wanted. That should have been a match made in heaven right there, or at least a match made on Tinder. But the fact that he unmatched because of it, here's the thing. Some people, when they say they like sarcasm, what they actually mean is, I want to be a dick with my sarcasm, and I want you to be able to take it, but I will not take it back. 
that's something I've just noticed with certain people who are like, I love sarcasm. It's like when you're actually sarcastic back, they're like mad about it. Hey there, how's your brisk winter Thursday treating you? Are you ready for Christmas? Hello. That's too many questions. I can only do one at a time. Well then only answer one at a time, but you have to ask one at a time too. I'm not doing all the work by myself. You have to chip in too. I'm sorry, I have to say it. The, the, the way he's texting with the emojis is very unsettling. It's okay if you can't handle answering too many questions at once. I get it. I have the brain of a fucking squirrel. I will only be able to focus on one thing at a time and then I will bounce to something else like a little chipmunk. So if you want me to answer something, you gotta just say it one at a time when you're speaking to me. Otherwise, I will focus on the one thing and absolutely forget everything else. I'm gonna be, I've got a little ADHD brain. A little ADHD brain is like a squirrel bouncing everywhere. However, in this circumstance, this is texting where you can respond to one thing at a time. And then I think what actually makes me dislike this person is the way if you bounce down it says, I'm not doing all the work by myself, you have to chip in too. I'm sorry, the person that asked you the questions is the only person who's done anything in this conversation. All you've done is complain and send very unsettling emojis. I don't know why this is pissing me off. Okay, I do know why it's pissing me off. It, it, it is that I'm not doing all the work by myself while they are sitting there doing none of the fucking work. I have to move, I'm already mad. I can't continue this. Wait, it was posted by Sierra Alpha. Ow, ow, ow. Oh God, I need to stop doing that. Otherwise I'm gonna unironically get good at it and have issues in my life more than I already have. You look like a pansy. That's how you start conversations with people. I just call it how I see it. Pansy, you can still probably hit though. By insulting me? How about you kiss me about it? We can do art projects together. Paint my body with your juices. Why are people so mean on Tinder? You match with this person, so obviously there was some kind of attraction, and then you jump into the conversation just being a dick? Hoping it lands? I feel like it's the same thing like, um, sometimes people do this to me as like a creator where I don't know them because obviously I'm a creator and people watch my content. So of course y'all get to know me, but sometimes people forget that I don't know you. So sometimes they'll just leave like really fucking mean comments, like super out of pocket mean comments and then be like, LOL, love you though. And I feel like this gives the same energy of being like, you look like a pansy, just calling it how I see it. You can still hit it though, like love you. Like it's fucking weird. If you don't know somebody like that, probably don't do that. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, I love dicking around with my friends and we fuck with each other, but if you're a complete stranger to somebody and you go up to them and you just fucking insult them and then end it with like a love you though, or in this case, like a you can hit it though, it's just not, it doesn't land the way that you think it's gonna land probably 95% of the time, unless it's like really funny and clearly a joke, it's not gonna land. Like with her, the, 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 there's no joke in there. She's just insulting him. If you guys were best friends, then maybe there'd be some humor in it, but that, that it just doesn't land the way you think it's gonna land when you do that. Ethan, you're still a baby. Breastfeed me then. You know what, fair enough. What are you supposed to say to that? <laughs> for context, the title says, I don't know how to respond to that just for context. He is 22 and I'm 27 and I was only teasing him, only just reading his reply now. Honestly, how did you, I don't, that's probably the funniest answer he could have given you. Ethan, 10 out of 10, I'm clapping for that. If you're gonna come out the gate with, oh my God, you're so little, you're such a baby. Oh, let me get your little cheekies, baby. And he's like, okay. Rest me, me mama. mama. That's pretty fucking funny, you know what? I feel like Ethan and I would be friends. Not like breast feeding friends. I don't think that's a thing. Oh God, what a terrible sentence come out of my mouth. I wanna end this video now. I have to post this. I have to somehow edit the words I just said into content. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna leave now. Stuff is in the description. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you really liked it. Subscribe if you wanna be breastfeeding buddy. No, no.